Today I'm going to help you get the Akara motion sensor moved into Samsung SmartThings and this process will be very similar for all of the Akara devices that are Zigbee enabled and you'd like to get directly connected into Samsung SmartThings. Now this specific device was already set up with an Akara hub so I had to hit a reset button. You may not have to do this but when I hold it for a few seconds then you start to get those flashing lights and that lets you know that this device is ready to pair. Inside of your Samsung SmartThings application, you're going to hit the plus, go into devices, and if you tried to search for Akara or look for it throughout the application, you're not going to find it. So you have to hit scan nearby. And when you do that, it's going to take up to a minute, I think it took for me to get this sensor to actually show up. And I had to redo the reset. And all of this might get you to a point where you think it's not going to work just wait and if you have to move this a little closer to your hub that's not a bad idea now it will show up as a thing first off and this is because you have to do some extra work with this device so i would rename it to something that you're going to know when you see it in a big list so i called mine the akara motion sensor and you can see inside the app this is what it looks like it's saying it can't connect to the device now we can move it to another room we could do some other basic editing things so i'm going to move it to a room called testing because i was doing a bunch of testing with these but you now need to head in a web browser to account.smartthings.com and then there's a link down below to this page which has what's called a custom device handler and this is basically a set of code that will be plugged into this device to teach SmartThings how it works. So we're gonna go into that page and really all you're doing here is copying this whole page of code and there's quite a bit, don't be too surprised here, but you're gonna take all of this, copy it all, and then we're going to move to that account.smartthings.com and you have to log in with your account information. now. We're going to head into my device handlers and then I'm going to hit create new device handler. Then we're going to choose from code and this is where you're pasting all of that code. Then you hit create and up at the top right you'll also see publish and then for me and this makes this a device type called the Xiaomi Akara motion sensor and you can see it in your list of device handlers now you're ready to apply this to your device so we're going to go into my devices find our Akara motion sensor which has that name that you remembered from earlier we're going to hit edit now the type will be all the way at the bottom this is what you have to choose your Xiaomi Akara motion sensor type then you hit update and that has been applied to the device. Now you may have to do a reboot to get it to actually connect inside of SmartThings. Just remove the battery, put it back in. The battery's on the bottom, by the way. Now, the Akara motion sensor, when you tap into it, you can see the battery, illuminance, and you can see a motion detection. You can also go into the history of the device and see that it has been working here. Now, the other thing you can do is go into the settings, which shows you a lot of pretty confusing things. Now, the first thing I focused on was motion reset because this device actually takes a full minute to recognize a second motion to be detected after it detects the first, but unfortunately you can't change this about the sensor. You can make it look like it's ready to detect again, but that really doesn't help much in the grand scheme of things. So there's some other settings here, but really there's not much you're gonna want to do with this page. So heading back, now it's time to get this to be used by our SmartThings system. So I think we wanna go into our Smart Apps section and we're just gonna set this up with a light. So I hit the plus and I go into Smart Lighting. Now inside of here, we are going to create a new lighting automation and that's down at the bottom. And when I hit that, there's a number of different components that we have to fill out here. So which devices do we want to control? You could control multiple of them, but I'm just going to choose my tester light here. And that's just because I'm just setting this up very basically. 
Now, what do I want to do? I can turn on and set the color. This happens to be a color bulb. And then it will also give me the option not just to set this color to orange, but also to the dimmer level on this bulb. Once I've selected those, I have to select the trigger that is going to turn on this light, and that is motion. And then we're going to choose our Acara motion sensor that we've just taught how to work with Samsung SmartThings. So, Go ahead and hit done on that. And now your choice is, do you want to turn on and set that color when motion starts or when it stops? Most of the time you're gonna want that as starts. And then after motion stops, do you want a delay and then have this device turn off? And I think that's pretty normal. That's what a lot of people wanna do with their lights to save power. So I've set that as one minute. Now there's this, only during certain times, only certain days of the week, only when the mode is something or a switch or if illumination is a certain level. So you can set those all as conditions to this running and because there's an illumination sensor on this, you can actually use the Acara sensor for illumination and to determine whether or not you wanna turn on lights. Now, once I've hit next, I can actually change the automation name to something that's going to be familiar to me when I'm looking through my list of automations here, I'll be able to recognize what it is and what it's doing in my smart home. And this is what you end up with. We do have a ton of other tutorials for you and your Samsung SmartThings system all up on the screen right now. So go check out that playlist and get more done today. Otherwise, thanks for watching. And of course, don't hate, automate.